welcome back to my channel this is Rabia today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to select hair and cut it out so this is the final result I know I could have picked a cute dog but this is kind of like you know a serious face but I tried to pick up the dog that had most of the hair so you know this is the original photo right here so let's begin the process so first thing I'm going to unlock my layer and then you go to quick selection tool and select and mask you're gonna have this window open and then make sure you are in onion skin and then you're going to lower the transparency to about 20 percent or something whatever you're comfortable with then you're gonna go to this quick selection tool and start selecting the dog so wherever you see the darker areas that's what you are selecting right now so don't be afraid to go over the hair even though if you're selecting the background that's fine you can clean it up later so right here i'm not selecting all the refined hair but i'm also dragging the the background with it but we are going to clean it up later on so once you feel like you have got enough hair that you want in your photo then what you're gonna do is go to this tool right here it's called refine edge tool and i'm going to increase my transparency so i can see better and i'm going to start cleaning up the background so this is kind of like a magic eraser tool Ooh, look at that Ooh. we're gonna go this side the dog is still pissed off but look how you can get rid of the background and still have the hair left i know it's not 100 percent clean but we'll take care of that don't worry about it what i like to do is click ok and i'm going to select the thumbnail version don't select the mask but select the thumbnail version go to your eraser and erase all the extra you know lines that you see from the background that dragged over once i have this i'm going to see how it looks on the background color so i'm going to create a rectangle select the color i'm going to <clears throat> i'm going to drag it below it whoops why do i keep doing this so once you have this color in the background, you can actually see your dog hair is cut out completely, which I love. And if you see any imperfections, you can always click this, click this layer mask thumbnail and go to your quick selection tool and select mask again to go in that direction. And you can actually play with the settings. So shift edge is basically if you drag it to the left side it's going to eliminate all the pixels that we cleared and then if you drag it to the right side it's going to show the background that we did not clean so i like to so since i, I was really happy with the results so far i don't feel like i need a lot of changes but i'm just showing you just for the heck of it so contrast is basically you know how darker you want the photo against the background and it also affects the fuzziness of the hair too feather is going to basically feather out the selection that we have done right here and we don't need that either and smoothness is basically it's going to smooth the edges if you really like that look so in my case i don't want any smoothness radius is basically how much you want your pixels to expand what whatever we have cleared so and this is the work that we have done in the past just when we cleared out the mask and everything so I'll click ok actually I'm pretty happy with the results that my mean dog is <laughs> cut out from the background so let me know in the comments down below if this was really helpful to you and are you going to use it later on in the future or how do you cut out hair from the background if you are new to this channel please subscribe and like this video and i will see you guys next time thank you